Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, we'll be making a really fun diamond pattern style cake that kind of looks like a box illusion. You'll need a six inch and a four inch. Both of my cakes have been stacked and crumb coated and I'm applying a final layer of frosting to my six inch. I've just kind of kept my frosting white and the recipe can be found in the eye icon above or linked in the description box below. Smooth it out, fill in any pockets as you come by them, and then continue smoothing till you're happy. I like to use a larger spatula to bring that lip of frosting towards the middle of the cake and then refrigerate. In the meantime, I'll take a 104 piping tip with the same buttercream and create a row at the very top of my cake. I want to make sure to start and finish in the same section. I also have my 104 tip angled upwards so the skinny side is facing out and the larger side is touching the cake at all times. I propped my cake onto a cake tin so I could reach the bottom of it better. The turntable is a little bit too wide so this could be a little tip for you guys too. Once it's finished, pop it into the freezer for 20 minutes to set. In the meantime, you can take some fondant and roll it out to about 2 or so millimeters in thickness. I've used cornstarch to make sure it doesn't stick to my countertop. And you want to match the colour of your fondant to the same colour or as close to it to your luster dust. I've taken some vegetable shortening and rubbed it all over. This will act as like a glue for our luster dust. And on I go with spiced bronze. It's like a rose goldy kind of colour. The Rolcom brands are really great because most of them are now 100% edible, which is awesome. You might just need to check the packaging to make sure. I've taken a brush and just moved that powder all around until it's stuck. And if you do this over baking paper, you could use the baking paper to catch all the fall off and then pop it all back into the container. Do the same for some white fondant and black fondant and I've used a diamond multi cutter here. Just tapping it on the surface to take out those diamonds. Take the colour you're going to start with and cut them in half um, horizontally. So you're adding a triangle at the base and then diamonds over the top. You want to follow this all the way around. It might not meet up perfectly so you want to start and stop in the same area of the cake every time. That way you have a back of the cake and the rest of it looks all seamless. It gets a little bit confusing, I have to admit. I actually had to rip off the first row because I couldn't seem to get the orientation of these correct. <laughs> but I, um, over time, just keep doing it and you'll see the pattern come through. I added them one by one in color. So you'll be tempted possibly to add all the whites first and then go over the top. Doesn't actually work. You're gonna have to add them on one by one in each color and that way they all fit seamlessly. Otherwise there's not enough space to fit them, I noticed. Once you reach the very top, you can trim off any excess, or you could even leave it raised if you like. That looks kind of cool as well. Kind of adds some more height to the cake too. A quick tip, you can let these sit at room temperature for 20 minutes before applying onto the cake. They will definitely not bend as much or warp, and it becomes a lot easier to cut them off at the top. So I'm just using the edge of the cake as a guide, and then moving it towards the middle just like you would a lip of frosting that kind of flattens it all out. Working with luster dust does leave a lot of excess dust on your other colors. Just use a wet paintbrush to rub that off and it's all clean. In go some wooden dowels. I've used three in a triangular formation cut flush with the top of the cake and that's going to support the weight of our top tier. Stick that over the top with some buttercream and then take a number 32 piping tip and pipe a shell border all around to hide the seam. And that's it. Your really cool boxy illusion style cake is complete. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and give it a go. It's time consuming, but I promise you it's completely worth it. I love, love, love this style. If you guys enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe. We do upload two new videos every week. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.